four nights. This is our maiden voyage. Sort of. Sort of, kind of, in a roundabout way in the Winnebago. So yeah, we stayed in it, what, four, five nights on the way back home. We had grandson with us and it was all just kind of, you know, you could probably call it a shakedown trip. We shook a few things down. Yeah, we did shake a few things down. Um, but this is our first weekend getaway. I'll let you guess where we're going. <laughs> I mean, if you've watched us for any amount of time, you know, it's, when you get a new stereo, the first thing you do is you drop in, you know, Boston so you can play the intro to long time so you can crank it up and get it all feeling good. First time we go camping in, in, in a rig, well, you know, Lake Murray. But we're testing a few things. I got three cameras going right now. I got the dashboard cam, you know, looking down the, down the road. And then I've got the GoPro up on the windshield, staring at us. And then our standard, you know, Canon that we use most of the time with the good mic on it. I don't know how the audio is going to turn out on the GoPro. Usually the audio on the GoPro is not that good. I am curious to hear what the audio is going to be on the Sony on the dashboard camera because on the south wind, you definitely could tell you were driving a gas motorhome. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm talking to you right now and I'm, I'm confident that I'm not going to have to modify the audio for this thing. Even from that far away? Even from that far away. Wow. It feels peaceful up here. It does. But we're going to get down to the lake. I got to pay attention to the road. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Ari, it's <laughs> that off there. Ari, it's your turn. Come here. And what was that? I was trying her feet off. I don't have a name for it. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we got here late last night. It wasn't late, late, but it was later than what we like to get here. It was like 8.30 ish yeah. that we got here. Yeah, I think so. Setting up in the dark. Don't like to set up in the dark, but we're familiar with this campground, so it's all good. Um, we are we are really starting to like the new Windstar or uh, uh, Winnebago. I don't know what I was getting ready to call it. Honest. Um, you, you call it the casino. Oh, but. I mean, one of the things I'm enjoying about it is there is just so much room in here. Yeah. Yeah, if you like to work out, <laughs> this is this is your rig. I mean, it, it is comparable to some of the smaller fifth wheels we've looked at. As far as toddler space. Tiffin had a lot of space too, though. When it was opened up. Did it? Yeah. Did it have this much? Yeah, it did. But closed well, up, it didn't. Okay, close to it. I don't know if it's this much. Close but, up, it did not. No, I'm sure. We are starting to get organized. I'll tell you what, going from one coach to another coach, one camper to another camper, just, you know, you, you, you have things down in the camper you've been in for a while. So you know where everything's at. You, you, you've played the Tetris game enough with your storage that you've got it down to a science and then you change the the game board and all of a sudden change the rules <laughs> yeah. i mean miss terry she was not happy honestly she she was regretting that we bought the winnebago she really was it didn't last long <laughs> 
But now that she's gotten things organized, still not done yet. We're still in the process. I mean, we've had it for all of two weeks. Yeah, two weeks today. So, storage but, is very different in this. It is. We have less storage inside the coach than we had in the south wind but i think we've i've said it before we're campers we figure this out and we are getting it figured out more to the point she's getting it figured out i'm doing all the under the bay storage but um it's comfortable in here it is i am very very comfortable in here I agree. So. And we found out you can see this TV from the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That massive television. It's massive for this. Even the even the, the television in the bedroom, you, it's bigger than I thought. Once it's on, I actually thought we'd have to make get a big one in the bedroom, but now it's it's nice. It's a nice size. But we are sitting here at a site that overlooks the lake. It's raining, just in case you were curious. Martin Martin's Landing Loop. It is here at Lake Murray. The Martin's Landing Loop is usually populated with boaters. Um, there's a boat ramp right here in the loop, and I mean it's just real convenient for uh, folks that like to get out on the water and play on their boats or jet skis, whatever. Um, we have a viewer that I think doesn't she don't they camp out here that just got there just this is an aside I'm sorry I totally interrupted you it just reminded me because you're talking about out here it just got her camper stolen and I just want to say that's that sucks and I'm so sorry yeah for anybody that yeah I, I uh, you know my buddy sent me a text the other day telling me what happened and it's just it's crushing it takes me back to when our cargo trailer got stolen only this is Way so worse. much worse yeah. i mean I, I i think about our camper it is packed and ready to go at the drop of a hat i mean this is a second home for us we've got a lot of personal things in here we have it set up like we want yeah and it would be like getting your house just stolen off the foundation yeah. you got off work Drove, pulled up in the driveway and like where's my house um, apparently they went out to the storage location and it wasn't there I didn't I didn't have time to talk to him at the time I need to text him and see find out more of the story I mean I think it was Thursday or Friday yeah, when he texted me which kind of coincides with getting ready to go out for the weekend um, it's spring break time out here in Oklahoma, so oh, man, I, I that's just that, that's crushing. Um, it was a storage unit in Washington, Oklahoma, I believe. It just. Mm. I just keep thinking, and I didn't mean to interrupt everything. It was just you're talking about. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> Duck. Okay, pretend like we're asleep. We didn't have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Don't let Chris rest his elbow on the steering wheel. <laughs> One of the reasons I bought this camper because it's got an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> and right. now everybody in the loop. <laughs> oh, oh boy. That, guy, that guy's like looking back and forth like, where did that come from? That's good. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we need to do. What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody on a boat. we by the lake. <laughs> but anyway, my point is, I'm sorry to interrupt what you're talking about. I just was yeah. talking about the state park because I think they camp here a lot. Yeah, forever. yeah, no, that's that's uh, that's terrible. Um, you know, I have so many not nice things to say about storage units. Yeah, if, if you if you have to store your camper 
or anything if you have to store it do a lot of research and I mean even go into the court dockets to see if there's any thefts or whatever however whatever means you have to go into to see what the theft rate is for a storage location because I'm gonna tell you right now the place that we originally had our cargo trailer parked at that was an inside job yeah all, the cameras the only time the cameras didn't yeah, work yeah cameras was, didn't work that night hmm well, wow then, go figure yeah and and they totally ghosted us when we yeah so that was an inside job and it makes me wonder how many storage locations are like that million yeah. times percent not all of them right that, that but was, there's some wonderful i mean my, my trust in storage locations is down to almost zero because where we have our cargo trailer right now we've been using them for decades and they may not be the most secure place in the world but we've never gotten anything stolen from there and i've never really heard any complaints about stuff getting stolen from them so hmm anyway back to the winnie it's a winner so far this weekend the winnie is a winner <laughs> i'm gonna lay my elbow on the no don't please no. <laughs> whoops um we've got a i mean one of the reasons we brought it out to the lake this weekend other than you know we just like to come out here um we've got to do a couple of runs to get things lined out for the big trip um and one of those things getting lined out for the big trip is uh dog and half dog storage yeah, she's she's not a cat. If she could if she could hear you. Yeah, she, she would be, be offended. offended because she considers herself a dog. <laughs> she's just staring off this way cuz she can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we we're we're trying to get things buttoned down on what we're going to do with these guys when we're off adventuring, hiking paddle boards whatever we're off doing making sure that they're safe and um not stressed out they can't, yeah, i mean yeah, we have a dog with yeah, she not she out. is i i can't tell you how stressed she is right now <laughs> we do have a dog with separation anxiety yeah the little one he's a good little pup but um I'll let you figure this out. He gets kind of crappy when you leave him by himself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's one of those dogs that would leave a gift in your shoe if you said something bad about him and you, he heard you. But, but other times he does not. It's no, just, he's just, a perfectly good yeah. dog other times. But, you know, he, you get him a little wound up and anxious about whether or not mom and dad's coming back he yeah he, ha he has a bit of an issue and we're pretty sure he saves it up sometimes yeah he, he knows we're leaving yeah. he knows that oh look the wind's not blowing the, the water looks calm they're gonna go paddle boarding for hours on end I'm, hold this mm, I'm lock not this up mm -mm. In the bathroom. Nope. <laughs> fortunately we do lock him in the bed maybe that's the thing he knows what the bathroom's for um <laughs> boy uh we and the good thing about this winnebago is we once i figure it out we can set up the generator so it turns so if we lose power in the middle of the, in the heat of summer while we're out and about the generator will kick on so the ac can continue running so we can have that set up automatically which is a win um what else are we wanting to oh the fence her the 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 terry fence outside you sound like you're locking me up that is an option, <laughs> That's not an option. the the uh the green fence that she runs along the bottom of the coach to keep the pups from running underneath the coach if you've got a giant lab or a german shepherd you really don't have to worry about that too much but we've got these little ankle biters 
that will just they'll, they'll go scurrying off underneath the coach so she uses that green construction fence and I had devised a way to hang it on the south wind now we need to work out a way to hang it from the bottom of the Winnebago haven't quite figured that out yet it's but we lower. will that's the issue yeah. is that it's, it's it's, it sits lower um, and there's some hinges some of the gas struts for the doors are mounted in a way that kind of interferes with the way that we did it on the south wind so just got to kind of figure that out once we figure it out it'll be done um, anything else we're trying to figure out i'm sure no it's a well we have a leak so before orlando we should probably figure yeah, that out that's yeah. not for this week i need so. to climb up there and uh run a bead of silicone around the top of this window because just one of those things um i think that's it No, well, I mean that's 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 kind of the way we are. But we are enjoying the weekend, even though it's raining. Uh, we've got what, what one of the things we like about this motorhome is we've got the front door open, and we can just sit here and watch it, watch the raindrops bouncing off the water, and just enjoy the view and the sound of the rain hitting the roof really oh and it's kept it stayed really warm in here compared to our last array. compared to the fleetwood yeah this thing is very well insulated sound wise and everything yes it's, it's, i'm not feeling you know on the fleetwood you'd sit down on the couch or the dinette and you would feel that cold draft we do a lot of cold weather camping so i mean we, we kind of figure this stuff out and last night was down in the mid 40s not terribly cold just down in the mid 40s but it was cold enough where we would have felt it in the in the south wind sitting at the couch or the dinette when i got up this morning at 4 35 o'clock uh i didn't know it was cold outside so so far first actual camping trip impressions we like the Winnebago yeah. and we're making modifications to fix the things that we didn't like about it oh, oh look it moves <laughs> just in case you were thinking that it was just one of those Nothing little statues <laughs> all right I'm gonna pull the plug on this we're going to enjoy the rest of this weekend, I guess, since we can't play outside. We could play outside, but... Kind of chilly. It is a little wet. chilly and wet. Maybe we'll find something on to stream. Which, by the way, Verizon, we're getting 5G at three bars sitting right here at Martin's Landing at Lake Murray State Park. Not... That doesn't happen on the other side of the lake. I don't know why this side of the lake it's working because this this is the furthest point away from Ardmore that we can get at the lake or right on the lake is that keep stuff from with less trees right there I don't know I don't know if that I don't recall seeing a cell tower right here nearby but there's got to be but we yeah we're getting three bars with Verizon 5g so very good we'll catch you uh, I yeah we'll catch y'all down trail